Hello, grade one boys and girls. Are you ready to continue our lesson with unit 12? What do we wear? Today, we're going to go a little bit deeper into using possessive adjectives. Let's go to the next slide. To do a quick review on yesterday's lesson, please click on the link or copy the link into one of your browsers like Google Chrome or Internet Explorer and watch the video about the different types of clothes that we wear. First, boys and girls, before we get into the lesson, let's talk about adjectives. Remember, an adjective is a word that tells us more about the noun. We call it a describing word because it describes the noun. If we look at the word possess, the word possess means to have or to own something. So if you have a pencil, you possess a pencil. It means you have it or you own it. It belongs to you. So, boys and girls, today's lesson we're speaking out a possessive adjective. So, a possessive adjective is an adjective that tells us more about the noun's owner. So, basically, a possessive adjective shows us that something belongs to somebody or maybe even something. All right, boys and girls, let's talk about the vocabulary we will use in today's lesson. Before we speak about the possessive adjectives, we will review our pronouns. We already know that pronouns take the job of a normal noun and it refers to people or animals. Words like I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Those are the normal pronouns we've practiced many times before. But when we're talking about possessive adjective, if you want to use a noun to talk about the thing that you own, for example, if I have a pencil, we will say it is my pencil. So if we look at the words on the page, the possessive adjectives are, the word in black is my, and that we normally use for in place of I or me. The word yours will replace you, his will replace he, her will replace she, its will replace it, their will replace they, and our will replace we. So if we, remember it's usually the pronoun we speaks about myself and my friend, if we share a book, it is our book. But if we speak about two different people, we'll use they, and we can say it is their book. Remember, it we use for things like animals. So if a bird has feathers, we will say those are its feathers. For girls, we will use her, and for boys, we use his and of course, if you're speaking about yourself, you will use my, and if you're speaking to another person, you can use yours. All right, let's get ready for the next slide. All right, boys and girls, please prepare your English notebooks. I need you to copy the sentences and fill in the blanks with the correct possessive adjective from the box. So please be careful, make sure you put the date on the first line and you put the title on the second line. So make sure you have the correct date for today's lesson and make sure you use possessive adjectives for your title. Remember to leave a line open after your title, so do not copy the white X. Then please copy the square with my, draw a little arrow, and then I. Yours, draw a little arrow for you. Remember, boys and girls, we're focusing on the possessive adjectives. They are the words in black. My, yours, his, her, its, their, or our. After that, leave another line open. Again, do not copy the white X. And copy sentences number one to five. Number one, I wear jeans. These are blank jeans. So in the blank, you must choose one of the words on the possessive adjectives. Look for the clue in the first sentence. I wear jeans. 
Do you remember who is the friend with I? Correct. The answer will be, these are my genes. Let's look at sentences number two, three, four, and five that you will have to do alone. Number two, the dog eats a bone. That is blank bone. Oh, that's easy. What do we use for an animal? He has briefs. They are blank briefs. All right, which one do we use for he? That must be easy. Number four, they wear overalls. Blank overalls are red. Is it good? So they, is it a plural one? Will it be their overalls are red or our overalls are red? Be careful. Think about your answers. And number five, she wears a night dress. Blank night dress is beautiful. All right, there's only five sentences, but there are seven possessive adjectives. So don't be tricked. Make sure you choose the correct one for the correct blank. Boys and girls, you will have 10 minutes to copy everything here. So please get ready. Your 10 minutes will start in three, two, one.
Okay, boys and girls, let's talk about your homework for today. First, I need you to read textbook on page 40. After you finish practicing your reading, I'll need you to complete your workbook on page 38. It's very easy, just make sure you read the instructions and do exactly as the book asks. When you are finished, remember to send a photo of your homework on Google Classrooms. Good luck, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, when you are finished with your homework on your workbook page 31, please remember to send me a photo on Google Classrooms. All right, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you've had fun. I'd like to say goodbye, everyone, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.